So if you started using Vim after you used IDs, you're probably wondering where are the tabs? And actually Vim does have a tabs feature, but I personally rarely use it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why. So Vim has two essential features that you need to know about. The first is called buffers, and the second is called windows. So for example, I opened up a source file right over here on Vim. And what this does when you open a source file, it opens up a new buffer, puts inside the contents of the file, and then displays the buffer inside a window. So what you're seeing here is actually a window to a location inside the buffer. And if I go ahead and split this with the split command, now you got two windows on the same buffer and you can have different locations, but it's still one buffer. Like if you go ahead and run ls, you're gonna see that there's only a single buffer. ls prints out the current buffers. So you got one buffer, but you have two windows that are actually uh, showing different locations of the same buffer. If you go ahead and instead of showing the same buffer, I'm gonna use the tag command to open up a different part of the source code. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this function. And you can see that this brought me to a different file called navigation. So if I now take a look at the buffers, you can see that we have two buffers and we got two windows as well. And I can go ahead to the previous window and I can just close it with control W and then Q. And you can see that if I run LS, I still have the buffer. It's still open on Vim, but the window is gone. So I only see one file right now but I can open it up back up really simply by just opening up a new window and then bringing back the buffer, just type part of it. And you can see it's right back where I was. By the way, if you wanna move simply between windows, you can just use control WW and it'll just move the cursor between the windows. Very handy. To finish off, let's take a look at a bonus command. So if I go ahead and run buff do, and then I'm gonna say, for example, delete all lines that contain function. And what this command is gonna do is gonna delete all the lines that contain function in all the buffers. This is gonna run this in all buffers. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see that we got fewer lines. And you can see that both the function on the first buffer and the second buffer is deleted and it did this for all lines. Don't forget to subscribe for more Vim videos. Thanks for watching.